Stampers Kim from StampingImperfection.com. Welcome to my craft room. I wanted to share a scrapbook page that I made, and I've used a bunch of the new items from Stampin' Up's Occasions Catalog. These items will be, be available through, um, let's see, through the end of May, actually. So um, I have a lot of things I want to show you today. So I'm making a quick little scrapbook page. This is an 8x8 page. And I'm using, for my stamp set, I'm actually using the By the Tide. This is available in the um, actual annual catalog. I love this stamp set. I think there are lots of options to go along with a page like this, along with this paper that they have. And um, I think the By the Tide, the new uh, Ahoy Mate would be a good one. Or excuse me, I think it's called Hello Sailor. You could use this one. You could also use the By the Seashore one, and then there's also the Open Sea that would work great with the um, new designer series paper that Stampin' Up! has called High Tide. Alright, so let me show you how I got started with this page. I started out with a piece of Pacific Point. I cut it at 8x8. Eight eight. Then I took a piece of Whisper White and I cut this six, nope, seven by seven. I cut this seven by seven. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put this up in the corner like this. I took a piece of by the tide paper. This was cut at six by six. And the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the Pacific Point aside for a little while, and I'm going to attach the um, by the tide paper, and I selected the one with the the seashells. The colors in this are fabulous: summer star fruit, Pacific Point, soft sky, um, calypso coral, the slate gray, the lighter, the new light gray. Okay, so I'm just going to attach this, and I want to make the sister page to the one I made originally. So I'm going to attach this in the upper left hand corner just like this and I'm going to leave a little bit of the white mat peeking around the edge just like that. Now I'm going to put this down on my Pacific Point and I'm just using a little bit of glue use whatever adhesive you like I like the glue, it sticks really well for me so I always tend to use the glue when I first started crafting, I used to use the snail, but I found that over time, um, especially when it was humid here, um, that it would actually stuff actually wouldn't stick very well. Okay, so that's going to be the base of my page, and I've created a few elements to go on this page. The first thing I have cut three and a half by three inches. In is this piece of um, smoky slate cardstock. I ran it through the Big Shot with the new arrows embossing folder, and this is in the Occasions catalog. So you get this great image. I'm going to put this down. I put this down just like this. I left a little more blue along the bottom because I have another piece of this um, high tide paper. It's got this on the back. I used that for a different scrapbook page. So I had this scrap left. This is cut two and a half by four inches. So I want to put this down. And I want the Calypso Coral side to show. So I'm, I'm just tucking this so a little bit of the gray shows along the side and a little tiny bit of the Pacific Point Blue shows along the bottom. Then I have a piece of this great, this is um, Summer Star Fruit Striped Grow Grain Ribbon, and it's, I believe it's an inch wide, it's fabulous. I cut this about eight and a half or nine inches, I'm going to take my glue dots, and I'm gonna, since it's so wide, I'm going to put gl two glue dots on each end. Just like this. And then I'm going to put this down so a tiny bit of both of my papers peek out on the side. And I'm going to fold my ribbon over like this and put the glue dots along the back. So I'm, I'm not running the ribbon all the way down the back of my paper. So just like that. Then I'm taking this new gold baker's twine. It has, it's like almost like a very vanilla baker's twine with a piece of gold. Um, 
thread running through it or wrapped around it and I'm going to wrap this around three times and I hold a little bit off the edge because I'm going to make a knot I'm just going to wrap it three times and then finish up down here I'll cut it off and then I'm going to bring it up about an inch to an inch and a half above the bottom and just tie a knot Okay, so I'm going to tie a knot in that, and I don't want to do it too tight because I don't want to buckle my page. I'm going to trim this off. Then I have a piece of Whisper White that I've cut with my two and a half inch circle punch, and I've stamped it with images from the By the Tide stamp set. I've used the Calypso Coral to stamp the coral, I used Saw Sky to stamp the shell, and then I used Summer Star Fruit to stamp the seahorse. So I punched it out first and then I stamped on my two and a half inch circle. And um, the reason that I did that was because I wanted to actually go off the sides. Now I've put some um, Stampin' Dimensionals and I put the strips left over from the side of my dimensionals and I put them on each side of the image sideways so that when I put this down those dimensionals will actually go on either side of that baker's twine and you can play around with the baker's twine and you know do whatever you want slide it apart if you want to now I also have somewhere here I have a Pacific Point button from the but the Bright's Designer Buttons collection and I have a bow made with a gold baker's twine. I attach the bow with a glue dot. I'm going to take another glue dot. I'm going to attach that right there like that. And I can now add my picture any place that I want on this page, up or down, you know. I left it so um, you can see here. I left, I always leave my ribbon so that it's not um, it's not glued down or anything so that when I want to just slide a picture in, when I'm ready to put a picture on the page, it's actually going to slide in nicely right under the edge of that bow or that ribbon. And I've left plenty of room down at the bottom for journaling and for a title if I want to add a title. Okay, so thanks for watching. Stop by my blog at stampingimperfection.com to get more ideas, tips, tricks, and tutorials. And to um, order supplies to make pages like these or other paper crafting projects, go to mystampingstore.com. Thanks for watching.